Good morning to everybody. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Excited about my Wednesday. Hey, uh, excited about the week that we've got so far. We, you know, we talked a little bit on Monday about having an hour of power and spending an hour and 90 minutes every single week. Uh, week. I, I prefer to do it on Sunday evenings and, and really thoroughly planning out your week and looking at all the things that you want to achieve in all the important categories of your life and brainstorming what all the possibilities are and then beginning to prioritize those things and, and looking for the highest impact, highest leverage activities underneath each category and putting those into a schedule and writing them into a schedule. And yesterday we talked a little bit about Pareto's Law, the 80-20 rule, and that 20% of the things that we do produce 80% of the results and to focus on those 20%. And talked a little bit about Parkinson's Law and that how an activity will grow in size and perceived importance based on the amount of time that we allot to it and how important it is not only to have a starting time for our projects or our tasks or our appointments but an ending time as well and to honor that ending time that forces us to be uh, both more effective when we're doing these things. And today what I wanted to touch on a little bit is a single word that I believe is the most powerful word when it comes to time management. Are you ready? You want to know what that word is? It's the word no. No. Your ability to say no. What so many people in our culture are a little bit overly obsessed with is um, this need for approval. It's, uh, I've, I've read some authors that have almost suggested it's an addiction for approval. Um, I certainly probably was a self-professed addict at uh, one point in my life where I just wanted everybody to like me. I wanted everybody to approve of me. I, I didn't want to hurt people's feelings. And so I found myself saying yes to many things that I shouldn't be saying yes to, that I didn't have the time to say yes to, that I didn't have a vested interest in, um, that I almost regretted saying yes to at the moment that I was saying yes. And uh, that led to disappointment on other individuals' parts when I wasn't when I didn't have the time or the energy or the skill set or the resources to follow through and do the things that they, I had promised them or committed or, or even sort of half-heartedly agreed to doing. Um, it caused me a lot of frustration and stress and tension because uh, I, you know, I felt the pressure of wanting to follow through, of wanting to do what I agreed to do, of wanting to help them, yet at the same time, um, I didn't really want to do the thing itself. And so when you've got a schedule and you already have your time allotted on a weekly basis, and somebody asks you, hey, do you got a moment? Hey, can I talk to you about this? Hey, I need your help. Hey, are you willing to do this, that, or the other? The very first answer that you can give them is, you know what, let me first check my schedule. And it's professional, it's respectful, it's non-offensive. You're not gonna hurt anybody's feelings by saying, let me check my schedule. And then once you've checked your schedule, it's very easy to say no if you don't have the amount of time necessary to really help them and as hard as it was for me to say no early on you know what I learned over time it's far easier to say no in the beginning than it is to say I'm sorry later down the road when you haven't followed through or when you didn't get the job done on time or when you didn't do as complete or as comprehensive of a job as you were hoping to or they were hoping to no is far easier to say that I'm sorry or can you give me more time? Or I'm not going to be able to do it on time. Or last minute, is there somebody else that can get this done for you? So, short lesson, but a powerful, powerful uh, idea or concept that I learned years ago to really be an effective as a time manager and to really learn how to schedule my time more appropriately is the power of the simple word, no. When you're clear about what it is that you want to achieve each week and why it's important to you, and you've got everything scheduled and you begin to look at your week, you begin to realize, man, I don't have time to get everything done. There's no way I'm going to get everything done. And that's unbelievably liberating because all of a sudden you don't feel the pressure to have to get everything done. Now we're making conscious decisions as to what we're going to get done and why. And when we've got a purpose and when we've got a plan and we've got a tight schedule, it's much easier for us to say no to other people. Other people want us to be part of their plan and part of their purpose. And so many times that distracts us and saps away not only our time, but our emotional energy to keep us from achieving the things that are most important to us. So I'm not saying that you can't be there to help people that you care about. I'm just saying make sure that you've got the time and the resources and that it's in your schedule and that you check all of those things before you say yes. So little tip for the day. You want to have an unbelievable week this week and every week? 
follow that schedule of yours and learn to say no. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.